I'm going to take you guys off the quick release and place you guys up here. Give me a second. Hello everyone, this is behind the scenes or all my product reviews that I'm about to do. So this, this is basically bloopers behind the scenes. So whatever happens, happens. But you're gonna see me sometimes re-record the video. You may see me screw up. You may see me mispronounce a word or yeah, I might start the whole video process. So this is just behind the scenes. So. If you guys want to support the channel, you can support the channel as I am an independent. Before we start, I am an independent photographer, documentarian, part of New York City's press credentials, contributing to society. So if you guys want to contribute to this channel, part of society, please be my guest. There's a there's a PayPal, a Remo, Cash App, there's a Patreon, there's my website. I need to actually get that up and running once again. But I'm gonna just flex a badge up here. Boom. Okay. Mind you, I am using all Sunway photo parts here. I am affiliate. Yes, this is why I'm showing the badge. So take everything what you see. These are the Sunway photo FL90 RGB. Very powerful light LEDs, mind you, very powerful. It comes with the 26650 batteries, rechargeable, so you can take that out at any will in time. So yeah, I have two of those. I got the Arbicius Queen 10 LED light, which I'm gonna power this on right now. Forgot to do that, okay. See how it filled that, that dark area in that corner over there? We kind of want the center to be the showcase here. So, I'm gonna take out the Sunway Photo microfiber cloth. <laughs> gonna wipe this down. Well, it's pointless because my fingers are just oily. At this moment, well, kind of dry right now. Oh my panda! Let me just. This is why I said, everyone, this is behind the scenes. We don't want no ashy hands on the camera, do we? But also, I want my hands to be moist. It's like a beauty shot, you know? You gotta like, every time you, like filming, when you make, when you're doing cut scenes, and you gotta retake, you gotta reapply makeup, you gotta reapply, you know, some color adjustment, you gotta go do this, yeah. Part of the whole routine. I don't want it too greasy. I'm gonna clean my throat out. <coughs> I know. You guys, what the? Who is that? That's my manhood. <laughs> my photo thank you for the hat friend I appreciate it all right I don't have no script for this this is going based on my experiences using everything I don't write scripts 
And what I do is write documents inside my phone over time. It could be a video documentary scene or like a clip of me calling myself talking about this so I can remember later on to talk about it. But right now I'm gonna start off So I'm shooting in 4K, 30 frames a second. I am, my, my value exposure is under 0.4, so keep that in mind. I'm shooting at shutter speed 160. Uh, ISO is at one, 400, mind you. You guys like to do 100. Let me explain this as a photographer too. Never shoot at one ISO 100. Always shoot at base ISO 100, at, at base ISO 200. Just saying, everybody, I don't understand why people keep shooting at ISO 100. Shoot at ISO 200 and watch your image just like pop. Everyone wants to shoot on ISO 100. Stop it. So, the camera is telling me that the, which I don't believe the Samsung's uh, auto adjustment, Calvin. So, I'm going based on my eye. So these are at 5600 Kelvin. Mind you, both are. Okay, so let's get started. First, I need to put this back in the bag. I want to start off. I really don't have nothing to say about this Inu B64 power bank. It's been phenomenal. But I just want to make update videos. Okay. Turn this fan off. I can hear it. All right, everybody. As I said, you guys want to support the channel, what I'm doing here? So. <clears throat> I'm gonna clear this out. Okay. Oh yeah, it's better. What's up everyone, this is Panda. So Inu, the power bank manufacturer, suddenly just sent me this out of the blue a couple of weeks ago. I don't know the reason why, but they also sent me a B, 67 which was more for the iphone 14 15 and my iphone 11 pro did not have a magnetic back but i gave that one to billy so let's talk about this this is the b64 this is a 27,000 milliamp power bank this thing for the past couple of weeks has been phenomenal it charges my samsung s21 in no time. I was at 55% on December 12th. I went from 30% to 90% in less than 15 minutes. This is a very good fast charger. Now, disclaimer, it says 140 watts, but it's distributing that 140 watts separately. So keep in mind, this is 140 watts in and out if your laptop supports it. Keep that in mind. You want to make sure that your devices, especially laptops or Apple products can support. Now, you do share, if you're using all three ports, you are going to share that power. So keep in mind that if you're using this port and you're using this port, this is gonna be at 100 watt and this is gonna be at 40 watt. So it may vary. Let's say you wanna use the 18 watt. So this is gonna vary based on if you're using all three ports on the B64. But overall experience, let me tell you, I use a power brick. Let me. This is the 
Alcloom 64, which I'm about to release a video for this one as well, and tell you how to manually use this power bank functionally so you don't get upset that it may not be working properly. But I use this and I use this. This is a 100 watt type C to type C cable. Now this has been certified. Now I have another one like this and I recommend using it. Now, and you does supply one in a little pouch, but I like mine to be a little bit longer, flexibility. And it comes with a little Velcro, see that? Nice. But using these devices with the combination of the 64, I was able to actually charge this within the, the specs of what Inu said, how fast it will charge. Be surprised, just with a 65 watt, this bad boy can charge pretty quick. But what I did find out was, playing around with a 100 watt the other day, someone else's 100 watt, oh my panda, you can literally see the number of your wattage. So, and I like the display. You guys seen the display, it's at 100%, it's not gonna show you the wattage, maybe, but when it's pulling the wattage from the wall, using this, it literally is accurate, telling you and indicating to you that it is a functional power bank that what it says, what it says, what it does, it does. It is a very fast power bank, but on the beefy side of things, it's prone to the manic of fingerprints. As you can see, look at my fingerprints all over that bad boy. Oh, my panda. But <laughs> that said, I gotta use, wait, my, I, I, I I might get five o'clock sometimes, but this, these little things don't work. So I gotta trash that away. And then I gotta use the big boy. I got the big boy from Sunway Photo. This works all the time. See that, that's clean now. <laughs> but yeah, that's the only problem, con of it. It's just prone to fat. But there might be another con, the weight. The weight might be an issue for some people. It's a little bit heavy. I'm not gonna lie. Just right now, I'm just like, hmm, should I talk about this weight? Yeah, I should talk about the weight. And I'm telling you right now, the weight, it's not a problem for me, but when you're camping, you're traveling, you're hiking, you're exploring the world, you're gonna need a power bank like this. I'm gonna be honest with you. And I've been traveling, I've been houseless for less, what, two and a half, three years dealing with the pandemic, dealing with financials, dealing with legal obligations, dealing with loss. If you guys know, I talk about Ely a lot on this channel, a lot of things. And I need power banks like this when I need to communicate at all times. This is reliable. And thank you, Inu, for randomly just sending this to me. So I appreciate you, Inu, for sending this. It's a very lovely gift, by the way. I'm gonna call this my Christmas gift from you. I don't celebrate Christmas, but Thank you for sending this early birthday gift to me, friends. But with that said, everyone, I'm the Panda Photographer. If you like what you heard, please do subscribe, like, and share. And if you do want to pick this up, I leave a Amazon affiliate link. I'm not affiliate with Inu yet. Let's see that we can change that. But, uh, <laughs> but with that said, everyone, eat, stay, photography, tech, and repeat. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya. And that's how you get it done. Mm, one take, baby. Woo! <laughs> one take, baby. Mm, that's how you get done. I might cut some parts out of that, like nips, trim. <laughs> but damn. God damn. That's how you get it done. <laughs> All right, next one. Got to clean my palette again. That's what you're useful for. <laughs> the, these are the newer weight bags. They are terrible. The quality sucks. I've never seen weight bags destroy themselves. And I don't even use these uh, light stands as much. So I don't understand how they get destroyed. <clears throat> but let's talk about the Sunway Photo M3 now. I've been using this thing for quite some time. 
and I'm very impressed with this. I'm very impressed with this M3. I used it on this Manfrotto flew ahead. I used it on the DT-03R. I used it on the new carbon... I used it for the S SCG. Video professional flew ahead. Yeah, this thing is... It's carbon fiber, but it's heavy. It is... It, it, it does have some weight, but it's not as heavy as a... An aluminum carbon, I mean, an aluminum tripod. You do not want to carry around a video fluid head that is aluminum. That bad boy is heavy, friend. Look. All right. These. These are the DP12. These are Art Swiss compatible too, friends. Mm hmm It can fit on this too. Like you guys are, yeah, it can fit on that. Which is the, D the DDH07. Yep. It can fit right there on it. Easy. Very useful. I'm gonna about to do a review on this too. So yeah, I got a lot of work cut out for me today, everybody. So guys wanna support the channel, please do so. Uh, thank you so much, Photo, for giving me the opportunity to do all this stuff. And thank you for sending the stuff out to me. Appreciate it. You know, so many photo gave me an opportunity, everybody. So is Raven Filters. So is Irix Lenses. And I just want to say thank you guys for giving me opportunities to do my best to showcase my art of photography in video. So keep that in mind. Ugh. I should move that X, man. Oh, man, Panda. Distracted. Distracting. Can I move it? No. Damn it. Yeah, that was my X mark. I'm gonna have to like go with the wind, friend. Uh. Alright, since we're done with this one, now we can start off with the Sunway Photo M3. Uh. So I'm gonna add videos and photos with my videos that I'm recording to give you guys context of the timeline. Yeah, I'm gonna do all that stuff. So don't worry, but yeah. Ooh, look at that presentation. Ooh, guys, look at this. Let me show you this real quick. You guys are like, damn, Panda, that's a good shot. Yeah, I'm the man. I'm the Panda man. Everyone keeps calling me that and now I'm saying it. But look at that. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh. Come on, friend. Gets no better than this. Guys, go to the Sunway Photo website. Down the links down in the descriptions below, everyone. If you want to purchase some of these lighting that I have and some of the gear that from Sunway Photo. 90% of this is Sunway Photo, everybody. <laughs> Except for the audio. But, yeah. Yeah, that's a little shaky, but that, don't worry. Don't worry. Just... Making sure that, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beauty filled. Put you back on. Get you more power. All right, everybody. <clears throat> Gotta clean my palette out again. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> It's hot in here, friend. The hostel is really warm. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a big fan of like the 70 degree weather. Guys, my ambient temperature in my home would always be at 66 or 65. I don't understand what the what's up with the 75 degree. You guys are insane with heat. <laughs> Lived, know how to live and breathe cold air sometimes. Know how to take cold showers like I did this morning. It's good for you. <clears throat> Hello everyone, and yes, we are back with another Sunway Photo update on the M3 Micro Slider. And I want to talk about these little Art Swiss 
AP152 adapters, everyone. These things are so useful. Oh my panda. Not gonna lie, very useful. But with that said, everyone, for the past couple of weeks, Sony Photo, I've been using this with the DT03R. I've been using it on a Manfrotto flew ahead, which to me, it didn't make sense at the time, but it did because when I wanted to use it on the fluid head, it gave me the flexibility, oops, to slide back and forth. But I like how it is smooth. Don't get, don't get, don't get me wrong. But like, I'm starting to notice, see how that is look like it's coming out. It just, it's just weird. Now it's making this noise. It was very fluid before, but now I feel like I need to unscrew this to put this back in place. I'm gonna stop right. I'm gonna stop right there so I can get the Allen key and show the video. I don't want to waste time. So what I'm gonna do? So I've been having difficulties with this slider. I'm not gonna lie. It's been acting very weird. I just want to show you guys, like, you see how that is looks like it's coming off. You see how that's perfectly, you see how that's like not sitting well? Yeah, it does that sometimes. And I'm not saying it's, it's some way for it. It could be me transporting it. I don't know, but it happened before and I fixed it. So now I gotta take the screw out. Oops. Wait, I wanna do this pre. But it says it's in line. No way. Something's not right here. Ah, wow, that was. There we go. See? Now I gotta squeeze it in. All right. Yeah, some way photo, you really got some really good product. Easy to fix. Premium screws. Oh my panda, what are these screws made out of? Alloy? These things are really good. These wrench screws they got in here? Dude. They put some type of adhesive on the screw too. So yeah, you, you heard that snap? That was that glue. My hands are so greasy. <laughs> All right. smoothed anymore. See how it's stuttering? Yeah. See, this is why I want to talk about this. Maybe I should put some lube. I do have some lube. Where's that lube? <laughs> I do have lube. Or oh, maybe it's because I'm transporting it. It's like I said, I've been using it. It's been, but it's been in one spot as I've been transporting it. It, it, it just, hold on a second. See, it's, it's not, it's like hickering. It used to be very smooth. See, it's like, Let's talk about this. 
Why did he do that? Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I went off camera, I was trying to fix this and then show you what tool I used to fix this and what I did. And I did fix it, but we still have a problem. The problem with M3 is that I'm not sure if it's me that's transporting and it's causing this to not slide it smooth. Or, like I said, this could be user error because it does happen from time to time with me. But I just put everything back in place. I, but I want to talk about these screws here, friend. I want to show you something. Ah. Let me take this screw off. I want to show you what this thing is made out of. I've never seen a screw, and I think this is alloy. Because it feels just the same as, like, I just want to show you these screws, everybody. Can you see that screw? Hold on. Can you see that screw? Oh, perfect. You see that screw? What do you think that's made out of? Because that's not something I normally see. This is a really high premium screw. Or this is a, a Rex screw, but there was some glue adhesive on it, which indicates that Sony Photo does pay attention to detail and to quality control. Not gonna lie. But, you see how it's sliding so smooth now? What is going on? <laughs> so, yeah, it's sliding smooth now. Well, kind of. Normally, it just go, whoop. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to put the screw back on. It was having a problem. It's not sliding so elegantly across the bar or the Nova point. This is actually a Nova point rail. Just to give you guys context, I have one from newer. I use it to do astrophotography and this is why I want this too, this M3, so I can do astrophotography. But I just want to show you in real time. Ooh, now it's sliding like, ooh, yeah. Okay. This is real time, everyone. Uh, but let's talk about my usage with this, everyone. Oh my pen, this thing is useful. Get in the shot, and mind you, pulling back on wide angle lenses to emphasize more room when you need to, when you wanna push back on that scene. Yeah, that is amazing. And I just wanna show you guys, the build quality on this is pretty good. But we were just having a difficulty, just a moment. It could be, like I said, using error, the way I'm transporting this. So, yeah. But, see how it's smooth? Now it's smooth, sliding smoothly back. Oh, look at that now. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so, with that said, everyone, I am doing a behind the scenes video right now, live. But, the build quality on this is superb. Outstanding. Actually, I want to turn this up. I'm gonna turn this F16. Yeah, let's get more lighter here. All right. See, I just want you guys, oh yeah, that light, that F16, that F6, you see that? That FL16, everybody, it just does magic. I love this film light, everyone. It really does a really good job. So many photo, you just make really good products. But as you can see, I fixed this one. And like I said, it's probably me transporting this but guys I use this on many fluid heads tilt heads getting some shots and it's been phenomenal I do recommend this as a micro if you're a youtuber you want to get YouTube shots put your smartphone in put a mini ball head on this which I demonstrate I have a demo video which I link here in in this video here and you guys can watch that but I just want to give you guys an update Look how smooth, look how clean. Look at the anodizing. The anodizing on the finish is just super clean. Now, I should say this about one product before, and then I noticed like, oh, you got some uh, some problems here, Newer. But but also, let's talk about the Sony Photo AP, uh, let me see this here. 
the 152 Arch Swiss compatible adapter. This thing is useful. This came with my uh, Sony Photo FL90 RGB. And I have to say, this thing is useful when I want to put a smartphone on this. Yeah, literally, smartphone on this, put this. Guys, let me demo something here. Oh, I got something to demo with to prove my point. Come on, gimbal. Sorry, everyone, but that's the big boy. <laughs> this is the Sony Photo T, uh, T1C30N carbon fiber tripod. This carbon fiber tripod is amazing. I'm going to make a video on this too, in a separate. But you see this? This is a 50 mil uh, adapt clamp, right? For Art Swiss compatibility. I just want to demo putting this on here. You see how that easily can fit on our Swiss compatible 50 mil plates or 50 mil clamp adapters? Yeah, because this is for newer. I don't recommend buying this one though. <laughs> but you see how that fits? Perfectly. But with that said everyone, I just want to talk about the M3. I think the M3 is a very good, useful micro slider. I will make another update. I just wanted to inform you what I'm using. But with that said, everyone, thank you for watching and taking the time out. This is going to be my update using the M3. Uh, my final review on it will be later on, I think about another month or so when I'm using this more often. But you guys take it easy. So eat, see photography, videography, summary photo, and repeat. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya. Oh, I'm like sweating. It's hot in here, friend. I think my body likes winter more than it likes summer. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. <laughs> Sharon Butler says, hi, my friend. I have an apartment now, not cold anymore you touch me no what i touch you you touch me no get up thanks what i touched you how <laughs> how because panda touches women differently you know panda got the touch but you got the smooth touch but yeah that's that's screw guys the screws on this Sunway Photo M3, these bolts, I never, dude, that is a pretty damn good quality. Yeah, that is something. And I just fixed this. Maybe it is me. Use it error, everyone. Yeah. Shall we just mess with it? And it's, ooh, look at that. See how, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this thing is awesome. <laughs> All right. I'm going to talk about two things again. I'm going to talk about this quick release once again. And I'm going to talk about this tripod. See, I got to make these videos and then I'll add the videos and the photos and my history. Yeah, I do everything later. But a lot of editing though. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's get this off. I'm getting, I'm getting, oh man, I want a beverage. I didn't get to have my things, my New Year's beverage. Shit, I'm gonna need one. But anyway, everyone, you guys want to support the channel? Please do so. Alright, because Panda wants to stay warm all night to get all this stuff done. I need to get this stuff done. So, if you guys want to support a cheap hostel stay here, so I can complete all my tasks, it would be so kind of you if you want to support that, so I can get some progress done here. All you have to do is 
ten dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. You want there's a PayPal cash app. Everyone do what you do what you do best. Make your own choice. But I'm having a little bit of fun right now. That's why. <laughs> so sorry if I'm having fun doing my job. Because I hate not doing anything. It just bores me to death. I don't like being lazy. Everyone's like, oh, you're lazy. I'm like, really, friend? I'm 44. You call me lazy? How old are you? <laughs> call someone lazy. Right, I like that shot, ladies and gentlemen. I got another Sony photo update for you, everyone. This is let me put that, yeah, that's better. This is the T1C30 and carbon fiber mini tripod. I have a, I have a lot of tripods, I'm, I'm I have to say that for a, a homeless travel documentary photographer. That Sony Photo gave me an opportunity to not only showcase their products, but also make me an ambassador. So with that said, everyone, please do subscribe, like, and share on this channel because what I'm about to share with you is a very positive outcome on this mini uh, tripod. It's carbon fiber. It's like it's built like a tank. I swear to you, like, and you can literally hit someone with this in a weapon. Now, I'm not saying you should do that, but. What I'm trying to tell you guys is that this has been phenomenal. Having on the gimbal, using the Sony Photo, mind you everyone, the QA60 quick release here. I've been using this on the gimbal most of the time because it's so accessible. And mind you everyone, uh, this, I use this on really stupid occasions. I'm not going to lie. I put a man photo AH502 flew ahead on here over fucking kill for it. Sorry my language, everyone. But super overkill. I'm gonna bleep that out. But <laughs> but I'm just gonna say the things I do with my gear are just it makes me laugh, but it, it excites me because I have premium quality products that can literally take that punishment. So with that said everyone, I wanna say thank you to Elaine for sending this out to me like a year and a half ago or a year ago and it's been non-stop a powerhouse for everything i want to do but not only that this system is easy that's how easy this system is and you can change this uh this three eights this three eights only matter has a detachable what do they call that a detachable quarter 20 thread so let's say you have a quarter 20 thread mount and this goes down the three eighths i want you guys to see that pin you see that you see that that is the three eighths pin so if you have a quarter 20 thread that comes into play just wanted to show you that everyone that is why i like this tripod i don't see that quite often on a lot of tripods and i wish all tripods would come with this <laughs> So with that said, everyone, I think this will be a phenomenal arsenal in your arsenal. So, oh, how long? Well, you get that length, which is decent, especially if you have a mirrorless camera or another sm small setup, what you're doing. Yeah, it's pretty lengthy. It, it got to spread. It do well, it, it does have to spread. Look at this. Look at this spread. That's a, that's a nice formation spread there friend <laughs> don't you guys agree look at that that's like looking at a sexy woman mm, inviting you over for coffee <laughs> that's just amazing how beautiful this tripod is so with that said everyone i had a very awesome time with this tripod um shooting photos doing video using it for gimbal vlogging doing city stuff for the new york city press contentious office you know keeping tabs with the media it's been useful for that reason. And if you guys want to like, I'll just throw that in there for you. Just, just emphasizing my work task, you know? Yeah, thank you so much photo for sending this out to me and sending this QA 
60G, which I only use with the gimbal most of the time, but very sturdy because if I was to use this for anything else, everyone, it would be on a very heavy rig setup because this is reliable. And I like how this is an easy, ooh, let me just demo them quickly. Let me screw this back on. Put that super tight. And now, I'm gonna sit this tripod up. Oops, sorry, no, I'm not gonna sit it up. I'm just gonna twist it. And release. That's how easy it is, everyone. Put it back in place. Lock. Easy. So, and mind you, this supports up to 33 US pounds, or 33 pounds in US. So, if you guys are curious on the weight load, 30, 33 pounds in its max load. So, but with that said, everyone, it's been phenomenal. But, so many photo, I would love to have another quick release, if you don't mind. But with that said, everyone, please do subscribe, like, and share. I do have links to all of this stuff down on the So Many Photo website, if you, Go down to my links down in the description below, everyone. I got affiliate links. Uh, save five percent off when you click on the referral link, and then save another five percent off when you check out using my promo code, the Panda Photo. So you can save ten percent off, and whatever Sony Photo has a sale on that product already, you save even more money. So keep that in mind. But they do sell this stuff at B&H. You can pick it up at B&H or Adorama. It's do sell it on Amazon as well. I leave some links. Available if they have it on Amazon. I don't much doubt it, but I digress. But with that said, everyone, have a good one. So eat, sleep, photography, so many photo and repeat. Talk to you guys in the next one. See ya. That one's kind of goofy. That was like a goofy video. <laughs> that was like a goofy video. I was goofing around right there. Oh my pen, it's so warm in here. What? You guys are scared winter. Oh my pan and New Yorkers, you guys are pathetic. No offense. You guys don't you, you don't need to have it 80 degrees. It's 83 degrees on that thermometer, it says. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy crap, man. Kinda miss being outside now. <laughs>how much is for another night it's actually 6372 right now total with the tax and everything all right we got more products to do ooh i want to talk about this gimbal now oh yeah i need to talk about this gimbal but i need a wider you know what yeah i need a wider seat i need to talk about this gimbal up front i need to be i need to my face needs to be with the gimbal when I do this video. Like, I want to talk about this gimbal, you know? That would be a very good presentation. I don't want to do it like this. But, let's talk about this right now. Woo! <laughs> Comic-Con, you're not out of the picture, friend. I got a lot of shit to say. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, guys, you gotta see how, look at my waveform. Look in the vectorscope. It's like perfectly balanced. Like, mm, mm, mm. All right. That's why you gotta you gotta use vectorscopes, you gotta use waveforms, you gotta use peaking, 
you guys are not using that on your iPhone, Samsung devices, then you're not really true to you. What the, the fuck is the point buying the phone? <laughs> that's what I, this, that's my argument. What's the point buying the phone? Okay, uh, let's talk about Comic Con now. Ladies and gentlemen, I should have made this video a long time ago, back in May of 2022, when I first picked the VD Live 10 up from B and H. So with that said, everyone, disclaimer: I am not sponsored by Comic Con. I do like their stuff, but I've been trying to get them to send me a, a shotgun microphone. So I can literally utilize that for something and show them how to really use it in a very uh, travel manner. But with that said, I'm a travel documentarian, photographer, journalist, and I want to emphasize the tools and the toys that I have. Let me take, take this off. This is just distracting. <laughs> but with that said, everyone, I've been using the Comic Con audio. I'm right now, I'm using the system. If you like the system, now, I'm not going to add the audio for this. I just want you guys to take a bit. I got a window open. I'm going to close this window. So, really quickly. You heard the window close now, right? I just want you guys to listen to the audio really quickly. Just listen. Now, the microphone is under my chin, under my shirt collar. I have the volume at two, level two. Don't have it at level three. So with that said, it should sound very nice, metal, clear, crispy. I'm looking at my uh, my sound bar right now, and it's telling me like I don't want to peak, okay? But it, I'm, I'm peaking just a bit there. But and that's uh, I'm demonstrating this VD Light 10 with you guys. I'm going to say some things about the VD Light 10. One, I wish it was compatible with the Boom XD lavalier microphones, which is not. Yes. Comic-Con, I tried to test that. It didn't work. Yeah, so what I did was I plugged it. Let me just open, take one of these out. I took the microphone. I plugged up the lavender microphone and thought that the lavender microphone was working. Now it does have, look what it says. It says mic in and headphone out. That means you can listen. So, I did that. It does listen, because I use my Sony MX3, um, MS3 1000s. Sounds very crispy. But, when it comes down to the microphone feature, it did not work for the Boom XD microphones. Which kind of disappoints, because I do like the Boom XD system better. Because I feel like that has more of a dynamic sound when it comes to my voice. This is more for the login situation going to be honest with you everyone and I feel like the the Boom XD system which I do have it right here this is a better fit for me not only I do like this system better but I wish I had the Mark II version because the Mark II improved on noise floor capability it improved in vocal uh, range as well in the mid and the troubles but with these these are more hard to concentrate the noise especially this microphone this onboard microphone is all over the place friend this is why i wanted to lose the lavender microphone but i wasn't able to use the boom xd lavender microphone very disappointed but still i love the audio quality i think one of the best out there and i think everyone should go out there and buy the Boom XD Mark II versions as well. But, and this is why I keep continuing to use the old systems from time to time. And yes, I did label them A, B, because this is microphone A, this is microphone B. The same thing with this. This is B, and I'm using A right now. And I also have two receivers, just in case, for that reason. And I can show you how to set this up without plugging this into iPhone using a cable that can literally power this continuously all day long. But with that said, everyone, I'm the panel photographer, and when it comes down to audio, audio is important. It makes up 50% of your audience, and it does shine when your audience can hear you loud and clear and direct. But thank you, Comic-Con, for making a good product. I wish you would have sent this for free, 
<laughs> but I pay with my own money, everyone. And that is why, independently, I want to say this, as someone in the real world testing these products and giving you your product review that everyone deserves to hear. Not these YouTube videos, you see the same video, same, it's like the script. This is why I don't go off, this is why I don't do scripts. Because the scripts are just milking it. And when you don't share your real experience, and I think the audience will appreciate your realism when it comes out to using these products in the real world. Mind you, I have these since 20, I had these since 2021 when I was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin for two months. And I just got these, like I said, May or April, May of 2022. It's been phenomenal, it's been great, I used it. But I wish I could just use this lavender mic because this lavender mic does have potential. Yes, it's not the best lavender microphone, and there are better microphones out there, but it's gonna cost you a buck for those lavender microphones. And I did have a premium microphone before, and I tell you this, buying a premium lavender microphone makes a big difference when you're doing interviews and you're doing product reviews and doing audio. So with that said, everyone, this is my Comic-Con experience for the last three years. So with that said, everyone, please do subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support the channel, please, I got a Patreon, go to my website, support the channel. I'm a photographer. I do a lot of beautiful pictures, portraits, landscapes, weddings, name it. Long exposures is my thing. Light painting is my game. But with that said, everyone, please do support the channel. If you want to support it directly, I have a PayPal cash out memo that helps me keep the lights on here. Without that, the lights will go off. But with that said, everyone, eat, sleep, photography, videography, and repeat, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. See ya. Smash! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my panda. Smash! <laughs> That's how we do do it. See, guys? This is how we do it, son. This is gotta be how we do it. This is how we gotta do it. Oh, we should put some, we should put some 90s music on. Oh, then I get copyrighted. See? You can't even do that because of YouTube, stupid little... You wanna make money? You want to monetize your videos? Don't use Bell de Bebo. That's the group. <laughs> That's YouTube. Sound like a little nanny grandma. Okay, I pinned on some in vogue. Oh, don't you dare you do not put on no black 90s music. <laughs> yeah, they like copyrighted my shit, man. Yeah, I got a lot of 90s black music. You know. They don't appreciate that. YouTube doesn't appreciate good music these days. So a shame. Uh. Talk about this Enelum cable again. This cable is sick, friend. This is a hundred watt cable, friend. This is a hundred watt cable. Charging that fucking power bank. Like, what's up? I got this. Mm hmm. Oh, you want juice? No problem. <laughs> this is what this cable is doing, friend. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know how much I paid for this. I know I paid with my own money, though. I, I just totally forgot. If I did, I'm going to link it up in a video anyway. But we got to talk about it. Why does it keep doing that? Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I know what, this product might not seem awesome to you at first. But as a filmmaker, as someone that travels around the world, city to city, houseless and traveling as an independent film photographer documentarian i have to tell you this i have to tell you this guys it's not about the cable it's about what the cable can do so with that said everyone i purchased this with my own money this is the analog 100 watt what is this 10 feet cable and mind you everyone this cable this is the brand this cable is awesome. 
and it's 100 watt. The DP is 100 watt, as you can see. And I just want to briefly talk about this. Just because a cable says it can do, make sure that when you buy these cables, you have to test these cables. Put it through the task. If you're going to put this through the task, please test your cables. Because a lot of these cables on Amazon are really knockoffs or thick. They cap at 100 watt. I mean, not 100 watts, 30 watts. Sometimes they cap at 22 watts. Because that's now the standard. The DP is now 22.5 watts. So don't be fooled because your phone says it's fast charging. No, this is supposed to be say super fast charging and when it's doing more than 65 watts. So keep that in mind. That's a very valuable information for you guys to know. Your smartphone, if it supports super fast charging, that means it's 65 and, and above. So keep that in mind. But this is my annual experience. I've been using it to charge my Samsung S21 Plus. Some power banks, like for instance, the, the 27,000 NU 140 watt power bank. Oh my pen, this thing is a beast. <laughs> but with that said everyone, I just wanna make sure that you understand that power banks make a big difference. Uh, well, power banks in really good premium cables. So test your cables, make sure you read the reviews on Amazon, if you buy this off of Amazon, which I did. So I read the reviews, I wanted to test, and there was one reviewer that sold me. It was from a filmmaker, and I was sold. So with that said, everyone, this is my NLOOP, or analog 100 watt experience. This is a DP 100 watt cable that supports 100 watts. So with that said, everyone, I'm gonna leave the links down in the description below. So you go check this cable out. But with that said, everyone, I'm the Panda Photographer. You want to support the channel, please do support the channel. Got the links down in the description below. But eat, sleep, photography, tech, and repeat. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya. Smash! <laughs> I, had, I, I heard echoing while I was doing that video because that door wasn't, wasn't closed. So this is why I want this door closed. The audio is bouncing off this wall. I should put something soft so it can soften that noise. You guys gotta know about audio. You guys are knowing about softening your audio to make the audio sound rich and vibrant. You gotta soften the walls. And I can't do that here. So I gotta make best. This is why I'm using this also because this is glass. And noise hit glass, it's terrible. If you ever go to audio engineering classes or you go on YouTube and look at these class courses, yeah, sometimes hitting audio on glass is pretty bad. And it bounces off very, the vibrance, the vibrations signal for it is just, you can hear it, it just makes the audio like, ew. <laughs> it just, ew. If you got good ears like I do, you just, you're like, you're just like, ah, that grinds my ears, man. <laughs> but anyway, friends. Okay. So, also, I'm, I'm demonstrating how long these lights, these Sunway Photo FL90 RGB lights last at 60, 50% power, everyone. Keep that in mind. They've been lasting for an hour on 50% power and still haven't hit 70% yet. So, keep that in mind. With that said, everyone, you guys want to support the channel, please do because I really want to get some work done. If you guys want to support another house to stay here tonight, uh, please do so. Uh, there's a PayPal, Cash App, Remo. Uh, yeah. Uh, you want to buy a print? Go to my website. Oh, yeah. Go to my website. But right now, I'm doing a lot of product reviews that I should have done, and I want to just make up for it. And, uh, and I think this is the only time I can actually do it when my roommates are not here. I'm trying to also do it before the, the housekeeping comes and cleans his bed because this guy checked out. So, yeah, I'm trying to do everything as fast as I can and then come back later and do the rest. So, right now, everyone, I'm going to actually call it a quits right now and say thank you. I'm going to recharge these things a little bit. But uh, before we go, I just want to show you in disclaimer, summary photo. Hello. Yes, sir. Look at this, 
And still, we got three bars. Oh. Oh. Tell me that's not a good product. Oh. And we're using the FL. Look, we're using the FL16. You guys are like, is it necessary, Panda? Uh, no, it's not necessary. But I need to bring that light down, though. It's a little too harsh. Oops. Yeah, a little too harsh. Yeah, that's perfect. See? It's better. It's not so harsh. So, with that, tell everyone. This is the Sunway Photo 2540C carbon fiber tripod here. And I just want you guys to see what I do behind the scenes. You guys want to support what I do? Please, dude. This one still has four bars. Look at that. Oh, it's at 60%. How is that possible, friend? This one's at 60%. Maybe I didn't charge that one last night. But god damn, that's a really guys. That means I can be sitting here for like four hours with this one charge. Oh wow, I just proven why these things are why the Sony Photo FL ninety RGB is so reliable. Look at the charge on that, friend, and it says sixty percent. So if you guys want to buy one any of these Sony Photo parts, down in the description below, it really does help. But with that said, everyone. You guys want to support the channel? Chappie says, uh, oh, who's in here? Chad? Oh, maybe Bob. Bob says, pretty cool. Thanks, Bob. Thanks. But with that said, everyone, support. That's what you do. Talk to you guys next one.